It's the 21st of December and we're almost at Christmas. Almost. And, but not, not, quite quite, there. not quite. Not quite there. Not quite there. But uh, today we thought we'd uh, give a special shout out. Um, we thought we'd remember a, a, a fellow who, who used to be with us. A man of distinction. Who's no longer here. Uh, you know, if, if I'm Ricky and he's Steven, then he would be Carl Pilkington. The idiot abroad. He would be the guy that we'd send off to do interviews for racing games and, you know, games that he really didn't feel comfortable covering. Which, if it wasn't an MMO, was pretty much everything, everything else, everything else, else yeah. out there. The man has wrestled bears, has walked to the ends of the earth and eaten chocolate on a Tuesday covered in snow. He is, of course, none other than our very own, not anymore, but he used to be. Petter Mortensen. To you, sir. Welcome to this real life edition of GR TV News with grass, sun, sea, people around. It's really scary. Uh, but we luckily we have some gaming news for you. There was a lot of anger at that, and now you're doing it all over again, so to speak. Uh, what's your general design philosophy when it comes to adding, adding new levels to the game? I didn't say they've gone absolutely fucking crazy. Excuse me. You do realize that you're last in line? Yes. You do realize that there are a lot of people in front of you? I already stayed in StarCraft 2 two hours, so... I still have a press pass. I can still walk past the line, but I won't, because... because actually, he's my hero now. I have no idea where we are, to be honest. I have no idea how I'm getting home again. Side of a uh, what car is this? Dodge Viper. All right. Together with Henrik Cruz, former uh, racing champ champion. To be completely honest with you, I don't get racing games. I, how do I end up in these situations? You love them. I love them. Uh, we're going to talk about another racing game, and I'm going to keep my, my spirits up because this is a racing game that a lot of people are looking forward to. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? No, have you? It was quite easy. It was a lot of, of driving fun. Yeah. And I don't even have a driver's license. So your answer to the question, what I should do to stop myself from growing fat, yeah. is play more video games. This video game. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, there's, there's some very, very big things happening in Fable. Bigger than you think, and it's going to really upset people. I'm really scared when I go out and tell people what it is. They're going to get super pissed off. They really are. But it's the right thing to do, man. I'm sure it's the right thing to do. And, that, and now we know that whatever you're going to say at X10, that's going to be in the game. Absolutely. For sure. Twitter is serious business. Yes, because I was on a roll there, you know. 
It's really bad. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Takes you back, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Really does. And uh, we thought it fitting to to remember Petter on this day because it's the first day of Hanukkah today. Indeed. So um, it's just felt fitting. Really. Felt fitting, really. And uh, well, where do we go from here? Of course, from the bad times, the bad memories, to, to the, the good, good times, times and the future times. Compo time, or as you called it yesterday. Funny hat time. Super special hat time. Super special hat time, which I feel is a Nintendo 3DS game in the making. <laughs> or some sort of a magic. Wii U, perhaps? Wii U? You put the tablet on the head. You put the tablet on the head. There you go. You've got a super magical hat day. Watch Every the trailer. Day. Amalur could be saved by talk alone has long passed, and the Fateless One must do battle with many fierce creatures in order to save the besieged world. Weapons out, I sharp. The ruins are full of boggarts and sprites. The battle is more than just attacking an enemy with your weapons. It's about the delicate balance of magic, physical strength, subtlety, stealth, and even fate itself. As your hero engages the enemy in combat, he will discover and create combinations of magic spells, weapons, armor, and attacks. Certain combinations will create special attacks that can be linked. During a Fae Blade attack, a short delay before your second strike can send your enemy skyward to then be shot at with arrows. But this is just one of the combinations your hero will discover while in Amalur. Heroic combat is a blend of style and substance. Knowing how and when to use these styles can greatly improve your fighting prowess. But know this, these times have tested our metal to the limit. A magic-based hero utilizes spells and elemental weapons that can work at all ranges. Heroes who like to get in the thick of battle adopt a more offensive melee fighting method. Ranged attacks are the hallmark of a patient and dexterous hero, firing off projectiles and picking off adversaries in the distance. All of these styles are enhanced with stealth maneuvers. Because your hero has no fate, he is unbound by its laws. For every enemy your hero defeats, he gains their fate. Varying one's attacks will increase the rate at which fate is collected in combat. When that fate has reached a maximum, he enters Reckoning Mode, sending a surge of Fate energy outward all around your hero. Your hero can then unleash a Fate Shift Kill, a blast of weaponized Fate energy that finishes your enemies with dramatic flair and gives increased experience. The enemies and bosses in Amalur can be fierce and challenging, but each have weaknesses that can be exploited. The skeletal Fair Gorta are immune to bleeding or poison damage, so a melee style with a heavy weapon would be most effective. Conversely, you may want to stay as far away as possible from the giant Bulgans. A ranged attack with magic might prove to be the best method for taking them out. If you wandered into a cave of the bat-like kobolds, a stealth style would be best to employ. From the carrion-eating Kradok, lurk in forests to the fierce warrior-like Niskaru hunters. Your method of attack may vary, but if your hero is to survive on his perilous quest, he must be able to effectively attack and defend himself at all times. Every situation he encounters will require a cunning and skilled approach, but ultimately, it will form the type of hero the Fateless One becomes. All right, that was Kingdoms of Amalur. Yep. And the question is, which mode grants you extra experience? It was mentioned in the trailer. Just perk your ears up and listen real hard. Yes. To answer, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to send us a, you don't need to get a postman out, especially give him a little letter and send them to us. You don't need to, you know, write it down on a piece of paper and then make a paper airplane and throw it at us. Hope don't send any flowers. Don't send any flowers. No, no bouquet. No. We, lear we learned from the other day. No, no, no bouquets, bouquets. Flowers, flowers. No. So, um, David, but if you are watching this. But what you should do, 
What you should do, what you should do, yes. What you should do is uh, send us an email to uh, xmas at gamereactor.eu. And you can do this from any country. Everyone's Open. welcome yep. to answer the question. And uh, make sure you get the correct answer and write it in the subject header. And you got until the next episode comes up to do so. And, uh, you know, just send us any love you got.